What's up disc golfers? This is Disc Golf Chris from the DG Puttheads. I've got a couple of special discs to review for you today. Uh, if you've been watching the Zen Disc Golf podcast, then you know that uh, Zach, aka the Ticklish Hamster, he's a huge fan of these discs. So I'm going to jump right into it. Here's the first one. This is uh, lunch plate mold from IKEA. IKEA has been around for a while. They just uh, they're new to the disc golf market. This is an understable mid range, and it's their base plastic. Uh, you can see it's gotten a couple gouges already, especially when you leave it by the stove. I uh, notice the uh, squared off shape. This was actually originally approved by the PDGA, but the approval was later rescinded because it's not in a true shape of a disc. But I still got one to throw anyway. Um, probably not going to handle the wind very well, but let's take a look. That turned and burned, so <laughs> I'm not a fan of that one at all. Um, next. Next, we got a true dinner plate. This one, this one is from Mikasa. Uh, this is a max weight overstable distance driver. You can see the uh, massive dome on it. Uh, this is a mid-grade plastic, something like your Z or your Champion plastic. Notice it's got a cool bottom die on it. I love it, and actually the stamp's right here up on the top. But um, this one should handle the wind pretty well. Very low glide, so I'm guessing it's gonna hook to the left pretty hard. Ready? I actually got a little bit of turn on it, so I was uh, slightly surprised, but I can't get very much distance because that is, uh, that is, that's something like 500 grams. So next, um, next one, this one is my favorite. This one is from Corel. This is a premium plastic maximum distance driver. See, it's got a nice shape on it, uh, mid-weight. Um, also, notice these grooves on the edges. You all remember when Quest originally came out with the uh, the Inferno, the one with the golf ball dimples on the bottom? Kind of like that, right? But uh, this one actually fits your fingers a little bit better. So this one is supposed to be rated something like uh, like a maximum speed Katana. It's got some significant turn. It'll come back. Let's see how this one does. Let's see if it uh, holds up to those ratings. Okay, that was beautiful. That went, that went forever. It didn't come back though, so that might be more of a Daedalus or something. So anyway, thanks for sticking with me. Uh, make sure you're reading dgputheads.com. Check out the Zen Disc Golf blog to uh, get up to date with all these dinner plates. Zach, we miss you. Happy April Fools.